In this training package, we will teach you warm subroutine. You can utilize the presented description on the webpage of this training package or the related post in the blog to get the most out of this training package. Following this package, you can utilize USDFLD and VUSDFLD subroutine package to have a more professional knowledge in terms of material dependent subroutines. This training package includes more than 40 minutes of training videos, including all theories, tips, and items mod modeled using the subroutine. This package includes both industrial and academic examples to help you write the subroutine step by step. All software files and subroutine and document files or references will be provided to you in the package. The following are some of the topics covered in this package. When should you use the UVARM subroutine and how should you utilize this subroutine? What are the points to use this subroutine in an example? And finally, we will do two workshops for deep learning of UVARM subroutine. which will present the calculation of safety factor and 3D damage based on hashing criteria in a composite cylinder, respectively. Uses of this subroutine, you'll need UVARM subroutine. If you wish to count the safety factor in a model, that's under varying stresses. In reality, this subroutine will display, will display you a new output based on the Abacus software outputs. In this workshop, we will calculate safety factor for a metal hemisphere under internal pressure. One side of the hemisphere, as you can see, is entirely fixed. And a pressure of 100 megapascal is applied internally to this metal hemisphere. Here you can see the plastic parameters as well as the final strength and internal and external radius of the model. Select the result option after submitting the job and completing the, so the solution so that we can see the results. Here, stress results can be seen. In this workshop, we will use 3D hashing criterion to implement a torsion load in a composite cylinder that is totally fixed on the other hand. Note that there is no 3D hashing failure criterion in Abaco software for 3D element. And this subroutine helps us to have outputs that are not available in Abacus software. The 3D hashing failure criterion allows us to examine composite material damage in fibers and matrices separately, as well as determine whether damage occurs in tension or compression in fibers or matrices. To get more familiar with the problem, this composite cylinder with an aluminium liner inside has a dumbbell-shaped state, which we will explain to you geometry, geometric specification in the following. Damage in composite materials can occur in fibers or matrix. We have this damage in the composite material which is shown as an acronym with FT and FC for tension and compression in fibers that occur in two forms of tension and compression of this damage. When we are under tensile and compressive load, 
It is also exhibited as MT and MC for the matrix for tension and compression modes of damage type. The output of UVARM subroutines can be seen in the UVARM 1 to UVARM 4 parameters. As you can see, UVARM 4, which represents the matrix compression, has the largest value and is more noticeable in locations where the radius changes. I hope you have received the items that you're looking for in this package. Follow us on our social page and website. Have a nice day. Hope to see you again.